lost none. However, that could well change today. And uh, why not? When Papua New Guinea first met Tahiti, a nervy start had progressed into a 2 0 confidence booster. Nice ball in, lovely exchange, must be a goal. It is! What a strike! Sheer brilliance from Michael Foster and Raymond Ganemba. But inexperience then had seen the Francophones fight back in absolutely stunning fashion. Far post, Warrison's missed and it's in! Tainui has equalised! A year ago, prior to facing Tahiti, when he'd had his full 23-man squad to work with, this time around with Champions League duties having affected his quota, Seritslev has worked hard with a new assembly of talent. Unlike the previous OFC campaign, Seritslev has had his work cut out for him, having to organize sessions without the full complement of his team. They are looking very good. Uh, all in all, the training camp is uh, running very good and uh, not only the Australian New Zealand players have been doing very well, also the new local players have been doing, doing extremely well. Despite these setbacks, the mood within the camp remains highly positive. No, but uh, the mood is, uh, is uh, very good. Uh, there's a, there's a really a competitive uh, training uh, every time and uh, players uh, seem to be happy and uh, you need to be happy when you have to, to perform well. The final 23-man squad for the Stage 3 World Cup qualifier will be announced shortly with a match to be held at the Sejongai Stadium on Thursday the 23rd of March. Papua New Guinea will face Tahiti with far more experience than their first tour meeting in May 2016. And the prospects for the home team are looking better as the date looms. Jeremy Moggy, National TV Sports.